Shadow the Rat, and in this video we're going to be going over some tips on reducing and managing your rat's odor. So one of the questions I get the most is, are rats smelly pets? And the answer here is kind of, because while the rats themselves don't usually smell, their excrement, which is their pee and poop, does, and so by extension their cage can also smell. There are a few different things you can do to try to minimize this odor, and I'm just going to go over some things in this video that have worked for me in the past and that others have had success doing. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to make sure that your cage is large enough for the number of rats you currently own. So the general rule of thumb here is you want at least two cubic feet per rat, and you also want your cage to be well ventilated, which means that a wire cage is going to be the best in this case. If you keep your rats inside a tank or a bin cage, then the rats themselves are going to stink a lot more because the ammonia from their urine is going to actually build up inside that cage and it's not going to be able to dissipate. So another thing you want to do is make sure that you are cleaning your cage on a regular basis. Depending on the size of your cage and the number of rats and the substrate you're using, this can be anywhere from a few days to a few weeks, so you're going to need to find what exactly works for you. Now, that being said, you don't want to overclean the cage. If you do clean too often, the residential rats will sometimes get stressed and then they will try to overmark the area, which will actually lead to it smelling worse. Now, litter training can help cut down some on your cleaning time and smell, and this is especially important if you're going to be using something like fleece, because with fleece, the whole point is to keep the area surrounding the floor of the cage very clean, and if your rats are litter trained, this is going to be much easier. Now another thing about fleece is if you're going to use it, you need to have an under pad. So this is basically something that is going to be an absorbent layer underneath the fleece. And this is because fleece itself isn't actually absorbent. In fact, the reason people use it is because fleece will let any water or liquid like urine go right through it into the layer below. So if you have something below that's very absorbent, like let's say a U-Haul pad, then the top layer is going to stay very nice and dry whenever the rats, let's say, pee on it, while the bottom layer will soak up any liquid and also reduce the odor from the liquid itself. Because of this, you need to be sure that you're using some sort of under layer with your fleece. Now, people used to recommend towels, but there have been a few incidents where the rats themselves have accidentally gotten tangled up in the towel threads, so now people recommend things like U-Haul pads instead. Another thing about fleece is that you are going to want to wash it and whatever under pad you're using every two to three days. This is just to keep everything clean and odorless, and you're going to want to be using laundry detergent or soap when you are washing the fleece and the under pads. Now, just like with fleece, you want to make sure that you are cleaning any fabric items every few days. If you have rats that aren't so much into marking, you might be able to push this to a week or even longer, but in most cases, you're going to find that these fabric items tend to stink up pretty quickly, and you just want to make sure that they are getting cleaned on a regular basis. Now, if you're going to be using a bedding, then I suggest you use something that is known for being very absorbent and good at controlling odor. I personally use Yesterday's News, which is a pelleted cat litter, and it's also very good at absorption and odor control. Now, another bedding that is very similar to Yesterday's News, but doesn't contain any of the softwoods that make some people shy away from Yesterday's News, is Fresh News. And this is basically exactly the same as Yesterday's News. It's also a cat litter, but it is 100% recycled paper, and it also contains baking soda, which will make it even more effective at controlling odor. Now that brings me to paper bedding like newspaper and tissues, and while this stuff can make really good nesting material, it's not good to use for your main bedding, because while this stuff can be pretty good at absorption, it's pretty terrible at odor control. So another thing that plays a big factor in how much your rats or their excrement smells is going to be their diet. So if your rats are being fed a good lab block or a good seed mix, then they're going to smell a lot less than a rat who has a very imbalanced diet, or who has, let's say, too much protein in it or too much fat. Another thing you need to be sure of is that when you're getting your new rats, or if you're going to just switch your rats over to a new diet for whatever reason, that you do this in a very gradual manner. Because switching over to a new diet for rats is just like in humans, and they can get pretty bad stomach upsets, which will cause diarrhea and stinky poop, and you know, you just don't want that. Treats also play a role here. If your rats aren't used to getting lots of fresh veggies and you suddenly start dumping fresh veggies or wet food on them, then they are going to have pretty stinky poops and you just want to make sure that it's always a very gradual process when you're switching in new foods. Antibiotics are another thing that can sometimes upset the rat's stomach. So when you are feeding them, just expect your rats to sometimes have looser or wet stool. Sometimes people will feed yogurt a few hours afterwards to help with this. 
Now another thing you want to do is make sure you are spot cleaning every few days. I spot clean every two to three days and this just means that I remove any soiled bedding, remove whatever feces I see in the rat's usual pooping area, and I also clean the cage bars. The reason I clean the cage bars is because this is where a lot of urine will actually build up and you want to be sure to do this at least once a week because you'll be surprised at how much urine is building up there. Another thing to check for is urine on the walls behind the cage because sometimes you will have a rat who likes to spray their urine outside the cage. My girl Shadow somehow did this and it was pretty disgusting. I ended up putting some old tables behind there that were really easy to clean but sometimes people will actually buy these things for their cages called urine guards and these are just what they sound like. They are basically plastic sheets that stop the urine from escaping the cage when your rat decides to spray it out. So just be sure to check any surrounding areas in case you have a sprayer like my girl was. Vacuuming around the cage on a regular basis and using things like diluted vinegar or pet products like Nature's Miracle can also help the cage smell better if you are using these to clean the inside of the cage. Now if you're going to be using something like vinegar, you definitely need to be sure to dilute it with water and you're also going to want to let the cage air out for quite a bit before you put the rat's bag inside. If you're using something like Nature's Miracle, I actually find that it dries odorless within just a few minutes, so this can be a good solution if you just want to quickly spot clean the cage and you don't have too much time to wait for the cage to air out. Another thing that can help is having a HERPA air filter. This will just make sure that the air is continuously moving throughout the room, and you can also use things like dehumidifiers to reduce the moisture, and this again is going to reduce the smell of your cage. Some other things that I use are baking soda and Glade gel beads. I just have these in little containers outside the cage and I find that both these products are very good at trapping odor without affecting the rats living inside the cage. Now, just as a word of warning, you never want to put any of these products inside the cage just in case your rat tries to ingest them, but leaving them outside the cage to help a little bit with odor control is perfectly fine in my experience. Some people have found that adding apple cider vinegar, vanilla extract, or goodbye odor to their rat's water can help with reducing the smell of their urine. In my experience, this isn't the case, and all you end up with is having to change the water several times a day, and in some cases, you might find that your rats might even be kind of picky about drinking their water then, so you need to be careful when using these products, but if it works for you, then that might be an option. To wrap this up, I just want to say that bathing your rat is not always the best solution to trying to make them smell less because if you bathe your rat too often, you are actually stripping off their natural oils and this in turn will cause them to produce more of these oils which will make them actually smell worse. Now the one exception here is if your rat is an older male with these orange little flakes on their skin. This is known as butt grease and a lot of people will end up washing their rats if they accumulate a lot of butt grease to help with the smell. So that's really all I have for you today. I hope this was helpful and that you enjoyed. Bye!